Of course, I said, hey, that's the road. And of course, Justin doesn't listen to me because I can't possibly know how to make it somewhere. Hey, hey, hey. I assumed it was one of those preemptive signs and, and not that diddy little side turn that we just went past. What's a diddy side turn? No, this. Alright guys, this is our first stop on our journey into Natchitoches Parish today. Uh, we're stopping at Melrose Plantation. We decided to visit Melrose Plantation because it was home to Clementine Hunter. She was a black folk painter from Natchitoches Parish. She was a self-taught painter. She lived in the Cane River region of Louisiana. She never left the Melrose Plantation for more than 100 miles. And she painted all over 1,100 paintings. Awesome. All the log cabin structures on Melrose Plantation most of them were brought in by one of the previous owners. There are original log cabins found throughout the state in Louisiana. There's a really cool gift shop on the plantation where you can find different Timothy Hunter recreations, little whatnots, uh, magnets, uh, bows, little short paintings, postcards, and whatnots. I want to take a moment and focus on this tree. This particular tree is over 150 years old. It's covered with, I think it's called resurrection fern. Very beautiful. While we're looking at the plantation, I want to take a moment to share some of the history. The Melrose Plantation was formerly known as the, it's also known as the Yucca Plantation. It's a National Historic Landmark in Natchitoches Parish. It's one of the largest plantations in the United States built by free Blacks. The land was granted to Louis Matoya, who had the big house built beginning of 1832. It was only two rooms then. This is the Yucca Plantation in the back. Louis Mentoria was the son of Marie Therese Corncorn. She was a former slave who became a wealthy businesswoman in the area. And Clyde Thomas Pierre Mentoria. The house was completed in 1833. It was only two rooms then. Uh, the Mentorias were free people of color for four generations before the American Civil War. Buildings include the main house, the Yucca house, the Ghana house, and the Africa house.
And you may have noticed throughout this video that we didn't show any of the inside pictures. We were asked not to take any videos or photographs of the inside of the building for security purposes. These are some posters of some of the Clementine Hunter's paintings. They some a little bit of history about Mary Rose Plantation and her thoughts behind the particular paintings. They're just really beautiful. And it's a picture of Clementine Hunter herself. Now we're going to depart Mary Rose Plantation and go to the St. Augustine's Church, Augustine Parish Church in Natchez, Louisiana. It was the first church, the first in the state built by free people of color. So we're going to go check out the St. Augustine's Catholic Church. As you see, it's very beautiful. It is an awesome structure. Clementine Hunter is also buried here. The St. Augustine's Church is built in 1829 by mixed race freedman Nicholas Augustine Matoria. St. Augustine is celebrated as the first church in Louisiana, as I said before, to be built by and for free people of color. It is among the oldest churches founded and built by and for people of African descent in the United States.
And in the church itself, you're going to see a portrait of Augustine Matoya. He and his brother Louis were notable for founding and building the St. Augustine Church. He's also considered the father of the Cane River Creole community. All right, don't forget to stay with us for the next part of our trip into Natchitoches. We'll be going into the town and seeing our lovely bed and breakfast. Enjoy some of these final images of the St. Augustine Church. Thank you.